Hey, real quick, before we start this video, guys, I'm going to Pensacola this Sunday, May 22nd for my next stop of the Paradigm Tour 2022. We're going to be talking business. Six-figure barbering is the standard in this class. If you're not there, I'm going to help you get there. And if you're trying to build wealth because you are there, I'm going to help you get there as well. But most importantly, I'm going to give you clarity, a roadmap, something that you can look at and follow. Use your ambitions to finally take action and know exactly why you're doing what you're doing. So if that interests you, don't miss out on that. Go to my Instagram, link is in the bio. And then the second thing is, I'm, I've am i launched my latest company. I think it's gonna be my biggest endeavor ever. And I'm inviting you to invest in the company and be part of the journey. If that interests you, go to investinpiebooking.com. Link is in the description. Let's go ahead and start this video. All right, man, so you put a picture in the appointment. Uh, yeah. I kind of want like a mid-low fade almost. Yeah, I was. I mean, I put that because I thought you wanted one. But honestly, bro, if there's something you've been wanting to do for your channel, yeah, you know what I mean? I do want to just like keep it kind of long on top, but I want to like skin on the bottom at least. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, we could do something, something like that. You want to take anything off the top? Just kind of like even it just up. Even it I up. cut it down to like a two, probably like two, three months ago. Okay. I haven't cut it since. And are you trimming the beard down at all? Yeah, yeah, you can take that to like a one and a half probably. A one and a half on yeah. the beard? Yeah. Okay. So you're keeping it pretty quiet? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it, man. YouTube, what is going on guys? So I'm combing the hair in the direction that I, that it's supposed to lay, that's gonna live good. And we're gonna do like a low to mid range, kind of drop it type of fade. Balding them out, I'm using the low pro trimmers. And you can see around his crown area, it's a little bit short, shorter than what I would have wanted. But nonetheless, we're still gonna give him a nice haircut. But if I had a clean canvas around the crown area, we would have left more length. Found it up with the Babyliss FX3 shaver, getting it as tight as possible. I do want to point out this haircut I probably did like six months ago. Um, we're using the Babyliss FX clippers. I'm going all the way open. Now I'm gonna close it all the way. I'm going up about, about a third of the way and then open it up some, go up a little bit higher, open it up some, go up a little bit higher until this section you can see has no line and it's blended. Now it's so ever so subtle, but there is you know some gradients there. If you look up close in person, you would see a little bit of a blend, but if it looks too too faded like from dark to to light it's going to be more of a compressed fade or it's going it's not going to look as gradient as it can when you're done with the fade all right so i'm gonna go ahead and blend the beard while we're here i'm using the one and a half guard and it looks like it's all the way closed and the reason why i went ahead and did that is because that's the length he wanted his beard anyways and my next guideline was gonna be created with this guard. All right, once I was done there, I'm gonna go half guard all the way open. And as I get higher with the, guard, with the clipper, I go ahead and kind of lift off the scalp. Then you're gonna close it little by little until that guideline you created is gone. And if there is still a guideline, you just drop down to the blade open and close it little by little until it's completely blended. Now you're starting to see some gradients. You're starting to see the fade come together from light to dark. So we're gonna do this all the way around the head. And the next section is where the fade's gonna really come together to its darkest point. I know this tutorial got like a, some nostalgia to it. For all my OG viewers, my subscribers, I appreciate you guys. And by the way, keep paying attention um, to my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram, Basio Cuts. It's in the description. I constantly post new cities 
new dates of places we're gonna go and do these classes now these classes are gonna be mostly business um you guys know my mo six figure barbering should be the standard and we should be building wealth from there um that's what this is about it's about getting your mindset right it's about teaching you um the, some of the basics some of the foundational things you need to do to get on the journey of building um a successful long-term career if that's something that interests you i think honestly like this is this is leveraging years of wisdom you don't want to miss the class especially for the pro how low the price of these classes are thanks to our sponsor pi booking So what I decided to do is go to my three guard. Just because it's a little bit darker than that two guard open. Now we'll blend down two guard open, two guard closed. And then we might jump back to that one and a half guard to bring it all together. And part of the reason why I start with the three instead of the two open like I typically do is again because of that crown area being cut so short. I want to give the illusion that it's as dark as possible. Or I want to keep it as dark as possible. All right, so now we have that one and a half guard. It's pretty much closed up, and you can see how it's really bringing that fade, completing it. I'm going to do this all the way around. Especially in this area, it's a little tougher to do. You, you might have to spread it out in the back here because it's more dense the occipital bone is there it pops out so usually the back is a little more tricky you gotta spread it out a little bit more all right we're at the one and a half guard on the on his right side okay that blend coming together Yeah, that's looking blurry. You guys can see I dropped down to that one guard all the way open. I'm just using corners. Corners and dark spots that the one and a half guard didn't really didn't really handle well. Drop down to that half guard. Again, just looking to make darker spots lighter. just detailing but these little attention to details look it's, I'm telling you it brings it just brings the fade to the next level when you think the fade is fire you can you know you can some you'll be surprised by just paying attention to some of the details how much night cleaner you can get a fade all right so we're going ahead and lowering his beard now you guys can see he has like a cowlick there or a whirl so we dropped it to the one half guard. And now we're gonna blend in the sideburns. Half uh, blade open, closing it little by little. I'll probably use the trimmer to get to get the uh, beard nice and tight, like you can see here. Yeah, that that fade coming together. And shout out to my guy, man. I know he's probably wondered what happened to this video. Um, bro, I'm sorry it took so long. I just, this was a video I kept in the chamber. But we finally dropped it. This guy, uh, he was a basketball player. So basketball player, barbering now. Very similar story to mine. Alright, we're doing a light 
natural C cup. Bringing the beard together, keeping it below the jawline, and try to keep it as natural as possible. And notice the way that I'm using the trimmers. I'm, I'm, the way I'm, I'm holding it when I'm going downwards against the grain, like this. That's to mitigate irritation at the, at make it more comfortable of an experience. Doing little things like that go a lot, a lot further than you think. Now we're going to do some razor work. Notice I didn't knock anything down here with the trimmer. I went straight to the straight razor. I just felt like I was going to be I was going to be more detailed with it and I could create a line um, out of, you know, hair follicles that a trimmer wouldn't be able to, to create a line with. Especially since I wanted to keep it or he wanted to keep it natural as high as possible. You know what I mean? We did apply shave gel to make it as comfortable of a shave as possible. If you didn't know, 245 shave gel has aloe vera and vitamin E helps replenish the skin and soothe it. And look how I'm kind of like chipping away at the line um, with the corner of my blade. That's looking clean. And we have not cut the top. We waited to the end. And the reason why I did this was because it was so short already. Um, you know, I, I didn't see it necessary to go ahead and cut the top first. We'll use the clipper work to um, define our length here. It's just, a, you know, like a half inch, not even. It's a light trim. And now I'm kind of beveling these corners because there was a little bit of a like an overlap hair overhanging. So I just want to make sure it blends in very nicely from the sides to the top. No overlap, no disconnection. All right, so we did his right half of his head and I would do the left left half of his head. And that side will be disconnected, so I didn't need to connect the sides. And now I'm cross-checking. So whatever direction you took sections in the beginning, you take the opposite to go ahead and uh, make sure it's even. And this is how I'm connected the sides to the top. But remember, it is a side part. It is disconnected. Man, they're looking clean from this angle. Now we're making sure the fringe is nice and even. We're gonna start styling, start blow drying his hair. All right, guys, let's go ahead and style using uh, some clay, my pompadour comb. went back in detail I haven't seen this heck I haven't seen this video so that's crazy I went back in detail this is the before guys now check out the after 
Guys, thank you, thanks for checking out another one of my videos. I appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe if you're new. Make sure to check me out on, on tour, the Paradigms tour. And go check out investinpiebooking.com.